Hello children, good morning. Once again, welcome back. This is the continuation part of acids, bases and salt. Let us have a quick recap of what you have learnt in the previous presentation. In the previous presentation, you have learnt what are acids, bases and salts, their properties and also how to identify them using indicators. You have also learnt what happens when an acid reacts with the base or vice versa about neutralization and then formation of salts. Along with that you have learnt the reactions of acids and bases with metallic and non-metallic oxides. Acid base indicators can be used to distinguish between an acid and a base. We have also learnt in the previous section about dilution and decrease in the concentration of H plus or OH minus ions in solutions. The strength of an acid and a base can be measured by the concentration or the amount of H plus or OH minus ions in the solution. We can do this by making use of an universal indicator which is a mixture of several indicators. The universal indicator shows different colors at a different concentration of hydrogen ions in a solution. A scale for measuring hydrogen ion concentration in a solution called pH scale has been developed in 1909 by Sorensen. On the pH scale, we can measure pH generally from 0 that means very acidic to 14 very alkaline. Higher the concentration of hydrogen ion lower will be its pH. Lower the concentration of hydrogen ion, higher will be its pH. Here in this diagram, you can observe the variation of pH with the change in concentration of H plus and OH minus ions. When we move from 0 to 14, observe the H plus ion concentration. At 0, the H plus ion concentration is more. When we move on towards 14, the H plus ion concentration decreases and OH minus ion concentration increases. Hence, higher the concentration of hydrogen, hydrogen ion, lower will be its pH. Lower the concentration of hydrogen ions, higher will be its pH. The pH of neutral solution is 7. Values less than 7 on the pH scale represent an acidic solution and the values more than 7 on the pH scale represent basic solution. The increase in the value of 7 to 14 on the pH scale also represent an increase in OH minus ion concentration in the solution. That means higher the value of pH, the strength of alkalinity is also higher. In pH, P represents potence means power in German language whereas H represent concentration. Let's study pH of different solutions. For this, we have to take pH paper and different types of solutions. Take a pH paper and dip it in a solution and observe. You will see change in paper color and compare that with pH chart to know the pH value. Do the same for different solutions.
pH depends on the concentration of H plus ions. Higher the H plus ions, lower the pH value and vice versa. In conclusion, if pH of a solution is less than 7, then it is acid. If it is greater than 7, then it is base. If it has an exact value of 7, then the solution is neutral. What are the applications of pH in everyday life? Are plants and animals pH sensitive? What is the pH of soil in our backyard? Does plants grow in highly acidic or highly basic soil? What is the pH in our digestive system? Does the change in pH cause tooth decay? What is the self-defense mechanism of plants and animals to protect themselves? Let us understand all these questions by watching a video. Does pH only have to do with solutions in the laboratory? Or does it also affect plants and humans in daily life? Did you know that when acid rain flows into the rivers, the overall pH of the water reduces? And living organisms cannot survive if the change in pH is too much. In such cases, survival of aquatic animals becomes difficult. What about survival of plants? What's the most important factor for the healthy growth of a plant? Yes, it's the soil. Plants require a specific pH of the soil for healthy growth. Plants cannot grow if the soil is too alkaline or too acidic. So if the soil is too acidic, its pH can be raised by adding lime, which neutralizes the excess acid in the soil. Similarly, if the soil is too alkaline, then its pH can be lowered by adding gypsum or some other substance which can neutralize the excess alkali present in the soil. And does it affect us too? By now, you should know that our stomach produces hydrochloric acid which helps in digestion. Sometimes, if too much acid is produced, it causes pain and irritation. It can even cause ulcers. In order to treat this hyperacidity, a patient is advised to take antacid tablets or antacid suspensions. And these antacids neutralize the excess acid. Magnesium hydroxide, a mild base, is often used for this purpose. And the reaction looks something like this. The acid is neutralized to get salt and water. What about the pH in our mouth? Yes, the pH in our mouth also has an effect on our teeth. Tooth enamel is the hardest substance in our body and does not dissolve in water and mildly acidic solutions. However, it gets corroded slowly when the pH in the mouth falls below 5.5. But how does the pH fall below 5.5? When we eat food, some food particles remain stuck to the teeth. Bacteria present in the mouth produce acid by the degradation of the sugar and food particles present in the mouth. This is what causes decaying of the teeth. What's the best way to avoid this? We should clean our mouth after eating food. And something even better would be to avoid eating sugary foods. Cleaning the teeth using toothpastes help in preventing tooth decay. Toothpastes are generally basic and hence they neutralize the excess acid in the mouth and prevent tooth decay. The concept of pH also helps in understanding the self-defense used by certain animals and plants. If you've ever been stung by a honeybee, do you know what really caused that acute pain? Yes, it's the acid in that sting which caused the pain. So if we use a mild base like baking soda around the stung area, it gives us some relief. And in nature, there are leaves which have stinging hair and they inject acid upon touching them. Again, we use something which is basic in nature to get some relief. So these were some of the ways in which the concept of pH is used in daily life. Children, do you know nature provides neutralization options? For example, nettle is a herbaceous plant which grows in the wild. Its leaves have stinging hair, which cause painful stings when touched accidentally. This is due to the methanoic acid secreted by them. A traditional remedy is rubbing the area with the leaf of the dog plant 
which often grows beside the nettle in the wild. Now can you guess the nature of the dog plant? Yes, it is basic nature. So next time when you go for a trekking, if you accidentally touch a nettle plant, what will you search for? Yes, definitely for the dog plant. In the next presentation, you will learn more about salts. Thank you.